Welcome back to Mosaic. My name is Chris Leifert, and I'm here with Father John Pitterit. And uh, Father Pitterit and I are going through some of the basic Catholic teachings uh, essential to our faith. And we've gone through quite a few and at a rapid pace, and, and we're doing pretty well. But we, uh, the next segment, we're going to talk about marriage as an institution, covenant, and sacrament. Well, the covenant is uh, marriage is an image of Christ loving the church. So Christ, the head of the church, and loving the church, his body. Mm -hmm. And that's, the, uh, that's imaged in the love of a man and woman. Mm -hmm. And that love of a man and woman is supposed to remind us of the love of Christ um, for his church. And it is also a, um, a, uh, an agreement, um, a sort of contract, uh, that's the way the church understands it. That, and in order, and the reason why there can be annulments is, in order for it to be a true contract, you have to fully intend to promise to be married to this man or woman until death parts us. Mm -hmm. And you have to do that freely. You can't do it with someone, a gun yeah. to your head, yeah. or you think that, well, unless I do this, the baby's not going to be, you yeah. know, the, so it has to, freedom is important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful, the, the, the covenant aspect of marriage. Now, marriage and civil law, why the church is strong about the, the perspective there? Well, in the United States now, every minister or Catholic priest acts on behalf of the government. You register with the government, and um, as you know, the married couple brings a marriage certificate with them. Mm -hmm. The priest has to sign that, send it in, and then they get the, the official marriage certificate back again. So the church is the official church witness, but mm -hmm. he's also a witness for the state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, because th there are so many people uh, who are changing their understanding of marriage and the definition of marriage, there are priests and ministers who are saying, we should change this. We should get out of the business of being officials of the state. Mm -hmm. We should separate just things. separate the things, as happens in Europe. There are a number of Catholic countries in Europe where it's, and this has been true for decades, mm -hmm. um, you want to get married? You go to City Hall first, you get them to stamp the thing. As far as the government's concerned, you're now officially married. As far as the church is concerned, you're not married. So in the afternoon you go to the church, or the following day you go to the church, and of course you don't do, you're not intimate with you one another. You don't and, consummate your marriage right, before, yeah. Until uh, the church, and, and so the church, is dis, the church wedding is distinct from it. And the good thing about that is our concept of marriage, mm -hmm. traditional marriage, mm -hmm. is very different from what civil unions are becoming sure. nowadays. That makes a lot of sense. Something so, to really look into there. That's right. a great topic. Thank you. Last topics, reproductive technology uh, and, and what the church believes about that, and then human cloning. The, the church is, is certainly very sympathetic. To, there, are any, there are many women who want to have children, and, and they, they've tried, and yeah. it's not working. So they're inclined to think, oh, well, I, I'm going to do uh, get the baby and uh, inseminate it outside mm -hmm. the womb. Uh, the church, first of all, the way that happens mm -hmm. is usually there are many eggs that are right. uh, inseminated, and only one is used. Right. Um, that's the primary reason. Mm -hmm. a, a secondary reason why they're against it is, you could think of it as a medical procedure, but in general, this should be happening as a result of a loving act, Correct. not of a surgical act or a medical act. Yeah. And the church insists on that, and, and you can see how important that is in our society. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, and, that, and that, what, what a great explanation for such a huge topic. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you folks to, if you want to hear uh, or see what the church believes, uh, just a little segment about cloning, you can go to our website where all of these are listed, sfarchdiocese.org slash what we believe, and, and uh, we'll be developing that as the weeks go by. And uh, I really appreciate you, Father Pitteret, for uh, at such pace to be able to go through, just give a little uh, anecdote about each one of these things. Thank you so much. Good, and I'm delighted that we have so much up on the website and that we'll be expanding that. Yeah. All right. Well, you've been watching Mosaic. Thank you very much. My name is Chris Leifert. Again, our website, sfarchdiocese.org. Until next time, God bless.